Hello, Chris Bosley here. So um, I was talking about system user in um, hi, Chris Bosley here. I was talking about system user interface and how it was reconfigured by Anglican and Presbyterian Baptist attackers here at Moore Theological Bible College. It's just one example of the many things that they've done to our computers and our phones remotely. Uh, and uh, using some mysterious way into the phone because I don't use wireless and I don't use Bluetooth. So anyways, um, here is a, a, the black backdrop and I've been talking to you um, about this before. I used to always turn my system user interface off to try and break any connection they had with the system user interface. Uh, so um, it's black because uh, this is what happened. Um, last time I showed you a video and a system user interface would not turn off. I could not turn it off and cache kept returning. So what I did is I turned off the phone. I went through a couple things, uh, turned on, turned the phone back on. Um, I have to turn on the phone in a Faraday cage. I can't turn it on in the open because they attack the phone through the startup. So I have to put the phone in a Faraday cage, trying desperately to keep them from connecting to it while during startup. So I start up the phone, um, and then I immediately um, uh, turn off uh, Launcher, um, which is this app here, and um, uh, it's always on. That's a brand new configuration as well. Previously, uh, I started using a new home screen, and this um, Launcher app, uh, I can't disable it and I can't remove it. Um, this one here. Uh, this here app is um, Launcher here. Uh, um, so I uh, st I clear this and stop it after I cleared this and stopped it after a restart, and um, I made sure um, upgrades this was stopped and cleared, and um, and then after that I went into um, uh, cache, um, uh, not cache, uh, content storage, and I cleared that. It, I don't know if that makes a difference, but something is always filling this content storage up, and I've got contacts disabled, so I cleared that as well when I started up the phone. And then I moved back um, to um, system user interface, and um, and uh, and it stops now. Uh, so um, what's happening is. I, I never uh, turned off a Z uh, screen record previous to using to turning this off. Okay, okay. Let, I turned the phone on. I went through all this. I shut off system user interface, which um, gives me the black screen here that you see. And then um, uh, that's another thing. Two clocks. And then um, uh, um, I stopped the system user interface. But as you can see, every time I go to home screen, the system user interface comes on. That I think that's normal behavior. But um, I can stop it. See? Um, when um, previously, uh, when I was running um, AZ Record, in the last screenshot I, I, I made, just screencast I made just a few minutes ago, I was not able to stop it when I was doing the screencast. So the only way I can stop it now is if I stop it previous to running the screencast. So I think that they have, they want to use this system user interface, and I think they're kind of using it um, somehow during the screencasts. So um, I'm just going to go and delete another um, thing here before I run out of space in my data or, and my video is stopped. So this is a new configuration because previously I was able to stop this anytime I wanted. I was able to start up um, and I did not have to stop it prior to uh, running screencast. So I think that they're using this uh, system user interface, of course, somehow, and they don't want me turning it off when I'm doing a screencast. So um, I also showed you previously that um, uh, another configuration change that they made was within the um, um, I moved them easy screen record it wasn't really a, a permanent configuration change but this here folder at the very top I made this in another video uh, 131630 was made when I made this video down here I made this video and it created that folder and in the folder is um, um, 
um, a PNG of my goofy mug. So that's a PNG of my video at 5, uh, when was it? I can't see, 718. So um, the video was taken at 718, um, and I don't know how long that video uh, was. So um, they took a PNG and it was stored in a folder. And the same thing happens with um, um, Twitter now. And it never happened before. Whenever I upload a video or a picture in, to Twitter, um, it's stored in a folder in pictures and it's named Twitter. Well, that never happened when I first started using Twitter. So anyways, there is definitely a, a change in configuration, and this is remote, um, remotely done. I think that they've affected this change uh, remotely, and um, they want to do it because they're using system. They're using this. They must be using this somehow in their um, monitoring of um, my activity or my screenshots and my screencasts and my screen act or activity. So another thing I wanted to show you was last time I, I shut down the phone, I, I, I turned off clock. Uh, but this time when I shut, I turned on the phone, two clocks appeared. So there, in this is the recent apps screen viewing. This is the recent apps view screen. And uh, last time I turned the phone off in just the previous um, uh, screencast, I said, um, I'll see you in a second. I've got to go do something. Then I turned off the phone. I turned off the phone and uh, there was one clock was kept coming back on like a ghost that kept coming back on to the recent screen no matter what I did to close it. When I turned this um, phone back on, two showed up now. So it's almost like there's two ghosted applications or two ghosted um, instances in some configuration file floating around somewhere and they keep on um, dumping back on the recent screen stores. Well, this is another example of strange behavior, and this, and if you look at the top of the screen, I couldn't or couldn't add widget. That started recently too. So, I mean, this is an example of what used to happen to all of our computers, what happens constantly here in um, this uh, um, phone. Now, look at the clocks. Now, I hit the clock, and it took the date. That's the last screencast. But look at the other one; is white. Now, if you rewind the video and look at them both, they're both white. That means they both showed up at um, um, uh, on phone startup. They both showed up white because they didn't have any data to put in there. They didn't have a screenshot to put in. They didn't have like the five five two of the of the current time. That means that these were kept from previous shutdown. That means that this here um, clock on the very bottom. 5.52 is the second one from uh, my second startup. That's the second ghost from my second startup, I think. And then this white this white faced clock in the back was the ghost from my previous startup. So um, I, who knows why this is happening, but this happens all the time. Now I'll try closing this and see, there's a ghosted view. I just closed it and one popped up on the top. And this happens all the time. Um, and it's getting worse and worse. And so I'll close it. And now I'll close this one and another ghosted one, see, from the startup. And this is what happens all the time. Now, I don't know why this is happening because it never used to happen before. But this used to happen on our um, computers as well. It's almost like they have a duplicate system. And it's almost like it, uh, the synchronization is lost. And then when I start it up again, um, the, the, the systems crash. So I don't know why it's doing this, and it never used to do this before, and my, my, my habits have not changed. I've been doing this for months and months. I've been turning system user interface off. There, see? There it is again. I just got rid of it, and it pops back up again. So they're messing with the phone, and they keep doing this on all of our computers, on all of our phones. And this is the Anglicans, Presbyterians, and Baptists here at Sydney, New South Wales, in MT, MTC Bible College, MT, um, More Theological Bible College, MTC College. It's an Anglican-owned church, um, Anglican-owned Bible College, and uh, this building I live in is um, 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 used to house uh, More Theological Bible College students. Uh, like I said, I think there's a group of theological Bible College students that come to the school, and then they practice hacking, and then they take their hacking out to the public. And I think they hack people's phones and they hack people's computers. And um, I think they send the information into the government, maybe, or to their friends in the church. I don't know. But it's it's pretty bad. 